Hello, I hope you are well. This is going to be part two of my book hoarder hell and I showed you my cupboard in the first video and I showed you my book hoarding and I'm trying to sort through all the books to sort through what I want to read first and what books I do have and I said in that video would you like a part two and people said yes they would be interested in a part two. So I'm going to show you what the shelf looks like now. The book haul video that I put up all those book haul books are on the shelf. Here is what it looks like. Lola also when we had the Christmas tree up she stole loads of baubles and she hides them all around the house. Can you see <laughs> these mini tiny baubles she hides around? She doesn't like them to be touched. They're her property. And then you'll just hear her going mental, like batting them around the house. So this is Dom's shelf. This is the book haul I did. All the books are on there. And then the top shelf is books. Here are books that I have read. And then here are on my like top TBR to read. Over here. And crawling about because I was showing you her um, baubles. So over here are three books that I actually forgot to put in my book haul and I got from a boot sale. So the books are from The Diary of a Snail. No idea what this is about, it just really intrigued me. And then I've got an Agatha Christie. Oh, sorry, it's my hair. <laughs> <laughs> like oh what's this let me just hold it let me pick it up with my hair okay this is Agatha Christie elephants can remember and it's like a stone is that a poo I don't know what that is <laughs> what is that mm, let's forget that so it's got a stone it's got a mussel shell maybe a poo and a gun to make an elephant and I just thought what a cool cover is that and I haven't read elephants can remember and this almost looks like the ear you know the handle of the gun do you know what I mean and then I got another Agatha Christie so it has nothing on the front and then on the spine cat among the pigeons and this was a book that you couldn't actually buy when you open it up it says that it was commissioned for a book club so it came out that well this edition was commissioned in 1961 for members of the companion book club eight long acre London and then it has the postcode it's almost like a secret book club commissioned this book how cool really fantastic font size you know in older books normally a font size isn't great look how good the font size is in this so I'm gonna put that on my top TBR and then in here these are ones that I'm not like gonna get to straight away so I'll just pop them there so that'll make the top TBR now let's go over dun 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 it's like Jaws it's a frightening experience going in here Dun dun dun! Oh my god, you can see my porcelain cat. There's my porcelain cat. Oh, I can't reach you. I love her. I'll try and show you her. So she's made completely out of porcelain. She's big, like the real size of a cat. And I got her years ago and I just fell in love with her. And then this gorgeous design all over her. Stunning. I will get you out once I get all these books sorted. So I'm gonna grab piles of them oh my god there's some here that've slid they've slid like down the back oh lord so i'm going to grab piles of them and then show you them oh let's have a look let's have a look first oh my god <laughs> here is the pile of books and i'll go through them so this is greg's the healer greg holling sheed and this is about a man's wife dies and a healer i think says that he he can contact her or something like that this though which i want to show you is susan atkins book so charles manson's girlfriend who she actually died in prison for the crimes that she committed in the manson family murders i have the haunted house by charles dickens such an interesting book i'm currently reading it and it's about the Charles Dickens got loads of other authors to collaborate on him with this. So a load of people go to a haunted house and they each t tell a different ghost story that they know. So you know in classic horror they would do that. So turn of the screw, they all go to, you know, they're all telling stories and then one of them says, oh, I've got a really great story for you. And that's the story of turn of the screw. Well, Charles Dickens kind of played on the idea what if each story was by a different person, by a different author telling the stories. So I'll show you the contents. So here is the contents page. So you, first, the haunted house, that's Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens then tells his own story there. And then we got Hesper Stretton's story, George 
Augustus Sala's story, Wilkie Collins' story, Elizabeth Gaskell's story. I then have Witch Child. I haven't got around to reading it. I don't know if I ever will. I've had it for a million years and it just never interests me. Oh, this, I looked up online and you can't find anything about it. It's like a secret book. So this is The Wheels of Time by Florence L. Barclay. Stunning cover. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous book. But you can't find anything about what it's about. So I'm excited to get into reading this. And I love also the font of Wheels of Time. It's just very medieval, I don't know why. It's just really interesting. So it's like a little secret book. Let's see what's at the front of it. Wheels of Time. Just seems really interesting to me. So I'm gonna put that on my top TBR as well. Then if we go back into the cupboard, you can see there is a neatly laid out row at the back here. It was all neatly rowed rows had a row and then I put a row in front and then another row in front and it just got out of hand out of control Let's slither in oh is that sesame street <laughs> oh god a bit of is that big bird big bird speak to me is it you let's take this book off so we can have a proper look at the back row oh we still can't see <laughs> out a bit through these oh this intrigued me oh my oh my didn't realize it would look like that <laughs> this book intrigued me though obviously because of the cover because i just saw the spine and i was like oh i remember thinking what what on earth is that book about but i forgot it had that cover on it so has anyone read this working hot a novel by mary fallon anyone read this let me oh it's got two heads it's got two heads oh she's got something in the mirror as well Oh dear, <laughs> that's a bit disturbing. Let's put that away. Here's another row. See, they were neatly rowed once upon a time. I wrote, oh, Oliver Twist. Oh, what's that? That's like an old book, I can see. What is that? Right, let's, let's dig. Right. Oh my God. Book just hit me in the face. I think I've got a black eye from that book hitting me violently in the face. Oh God. Our Village by Miss Mitford. I haven't read any of the Miss Mitford series and I don't really know where to start. And so I keep collecting them because I keep thinking, oh my God, look at that, how nice that is that. That, um, oh, I love just like the gold embossing, it's gorgeous. I keep thinking that I like it, the series, but I don't really know much about it. So I need to find out a bit more about it. What a lovely looking book. I'm not really um, sorting, I'm just, I'm just pushing things about and hoping they don't smack me in the face. Oh, this thing Dom got me. Oh, oh, I can't. I was going to get it out so you could see. Just, we can do that. It's a little espresso cup and a spoon and Dom had to go um, on a work trip to Madrid and so he got it for me. That's really cute. Oh, this is my addition to Heidi. That's cute. Oh, dear. That's sweet. Do you want to read Heidi for the book club? Tell me if you're interested in Heidi for the book club. Here is my edition of Heidi. Really beautiful old edition. Really gorgeous. Oh, and I really, it had um, pictures in it as well. Stunning. Really lovely. Is it about a girl who has to go and live with her grandparents? And, oh God. Probably got a concussion from being hit in the head by that book. Do we dare venture back in? I mean, we don't know how many layers are behind here now. I've wiggled a little bit of space. Let's see. So the Bramley Hedges, I've read the Bramley Hedges. I really want to reread them, they're so lovely. And then I've got a book about Judy Garland. Oh, this is my Pocahontas mug here. So you have Pocahontas. I love the leaves in Pocahontas. They're just so beautiful. Like every time I watch it, just look at the leaves. I haven't watched Pocahontas in years. I knocked the handle off because I'm hideously clumsy. But I didn't want to get rid of it, obviously. So beautiful. So there is that. What are these? Oh, We Were Liars. Is that worth reading? I got that from a boot sale. Is it worth the hype or is it overhyped? Let me know. If, people, if you say it's worth the read, then I will give it a read. But I don't want to read it if it's like too hyped up. I'm going to end it here though, so I don't babble on too much. 
but here is what is left so i may do a part three i'll do a part three where we have another little grab a pile go through it again see what's here and then if you are read any of these books and you like these books then let me know inspire me to pick them up and read them and i will see you again soon for another video